All parties in the matter of Haskin versus Lopez. Step forward. Esther Haskin is suing her ex-boyfriend, Tony Lopez, for an unpaid gambling loan and for property damage. Tony is countersuing also for property damage. Ms. Haskins, the defendant is your ex-boyfriend and it is your claim that he owes you some money for a loan that you gave him after a gambling trip that the two of you took together where he lost and also that he damaged some of your property. Mr. Lopez says there was never any loan, that the check that you wrote to him was gambling money. The agreement between the two of you was he would go gambling if he won. He would split his winnings with you, and if he lost, that's what happens when you gamble. He's got a counterclaim because he says you damaged his property, his doors. Okay, when and where did you go on this little gambling trip? In April this year. Where did you go? We went to Reno. Where do you live? In Stockton. How long did you go for? We were there for two hours, probably. Two hours? At, at Reno, yeah, two hours. It was fast. <laughs> so you just went there to gamble? Mm-hmm, yes. Okay. How much money did you take with you? I took... 300. How much money did you take with you? Probably a thousand bucks. And you gambled your thousand, you gambled your 300? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Speak. Yes. Oh. I'm just trying to get the facts. <laughs> this is not rocket science. You took 300, you took a thousand, you took 300, I assume, in cash, and you took a thousand in cash? Yes. Okay, fine. Did you win or lose? I lost. Did you win or lose? I lost. So, everybody lost. Did you lose everything you had? Well, no, I never do. About, I lost about 200. Okay. And what about you? I lost it all. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you where the $800 came from. Asking me? Yes. <laughs> well, she gave me $800. Just a second. When? You know what? It was after the fact. After you went gambling and lost your $1,000. Yes. And what did she give you the $800 for? She gave me the money because I was going to bounce a check to the bank for gambling, you know? And then so she wrote me the check for 800 bucks, So I wouldn't bounce a check. Right, so that you owe her the 800 bucks. Yes. And wonderful. Wasn't that easy? $800. Now, you want to tell me about the property that he damaged of yours? Uh, it was prior to this in February. I'm not interested in February okay. if you well, went gambling together. It was my curling iron, my flat iron. Listen to me. I don't care what happened in February if you and your boyfriend went gambling together in April. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Perfect. So he owes you $800. Didn't damage any of your property after the $800, did he? Well, no. He just... The phone. answer is he... either yes or no? No. No. Okay. And when did the two of you cease to become a couple? It was right at the same time, in April. In April. Okay, now we're going to get to your counterclaim. Tell me about it. Uh, she damaged my property here. She kicked what in the... What date? It was back in January. I don't care. Okay. Do you understand? Because between... January and February and April, you were intimate together, you went to dinner together, you were a couple together, you went gambling together, she gave you $800 to cover your bills. So if you weren't hot and heavy about your door in January and you weren't hot and heavy about whatever he broke in February, I don't care about it in June. Okay, $800. Are we finished? Good. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $800. We're done.